Can cyanoacrylate lash adhesives ever get reactivated and cause stinging for your clients? Welcome to the Lash Biz Tip of the Week, where Paul and I help you get more clients and grow your business. Have you ever had a client call you several days after getting her lashes done and she's complaining about stinging eyes in the shower? Well, where do you go when you're looking for an answer? The internet, right? Facebook forums have long been a resource for lash artists, but the trouble can start when the answers given don't line up with what's actually happening. And in this case, this is the problem. Some say that water is the key to understanding what's happening. The hypothesis is that the water softens up the adhesive and it causes it to release irritating vapors that cause the eye to sting and burn. So the idea is that you should wait a little bit longer before introducing water so that you can avoid the stinging. But this is not what's happening. You can wait all you want and you'll still have stinging. The water is not reactivating the glue. Did you hear me? It's not reactivating the glue, it doesn't happen. Now I can understand why some people uh, believe this. If you think that CA or cyanoacrylate is the same kind of adhesive as a white school glue, that they share the same properties, you could easily be mistaken into believing that lash cyanoacrylate would behave in the same way, but they aren't the same and they behave differently. See, a lash adhesive cures, it doesn't dry. School glue dries when all the water evaporates. So if you soak dried school glue in water, it's gonna soften and break down. Lash adhesive, on the other hand, does not dry by solvent evaporation. It cures through anionic polymerization. It's a scientific term that describes how a reactive glue becomes inert. In other words, simply put, it turns from a liquid into a hardened plastic. In the bottle, the glue bits are called monomers and they are very reactive. They are looking for water molecules to bind with so they can transform the monomers into polymers, right? That's why it takes only a matter of seconds for the CA to become very sticky. It's super reactive. Lash adhesive is liquid, it's exposed to moisture, then very, very quickly it turns into a solid waterproof polymer, which is a form of plastic. Plastic is non-reactive. You can put it under the water and it won't dissolve. This also describes the lash adhesive. Once you bind that extension to the hair, it cures after five seconds. It's done, it's non-reactive anymore. Anionic polymerization has transformed the liquid into a hardened plastic and the water can no longer deserve it dissolve it. <laughs> this is how we know that the shower water on the adhesive won't release vapors. By the time the sh client's showering, her lashes are cured and the adhesive has become a polymer. In other words, plastic. The water causes it to cure, which stops the vapors. So let's go back to our shower problem. We get in the shower, we wet our lashes, and the stinging start. If it's the glue vapors that are the culprit, in order for the vapors to show up, the water starts flowing and causes stinging. They must be available. But the vapors are only present when the adhesive is liquid. Remember, it's very reactive, so it's actively searching for moisture to bind with. The amount that we use to bind one extension to a hair dries incredibly quickly. You should follow the manufacturer's guidelines, but it's under 30 seconds, right? That means all the monomers in the adhesive have lined up with all the water molecules that have caused that reaction. And once it's hardened, it's inert, it's waterproof, and non-reactive. It cannot be dissolved by water. It's impossible for the adhesive to be dissolved by water. There are simply no more monomers available. Water doesn't dissolve the bond. It doesn't uh, cause the adhesive to react because it's inert, right? So what's causing the stinging? Usually it's a buildup of salts and oils on the surface of the skin. Many times clients don't clean the area and for worse, you know, um, even worse due to old wives tales or from our lash care, you know, echo chamber, we've been advised to avoid water. But our skin continues to produce salts and oils daily. Lotions and makeup have residues. When the water hits the skin, it can loosen this acid mantle and it's stingy, so it gets in the eyes, but it's not the adhesive. It will not cause the chemicals to react because the polymerization has already happened, so it's incredibly safe. If they're stinging, it's not the glue being reactivated because that's not how cyanoacrylate works. They aren't reactivated by water. You can't remove old glues from your tweezers or clothes or a jade stone with water. If the client is stingy, they simply need to clean the eye area better. Don't use wives' tales to inform your best practices. That's all for now. I'll see you soon.